sun. I'll be sitting when the evening comes, watching the ships roll in, and I'll watch them roll away. Is it that guy sitting in the moon's eye? Two thousand miles away. Something like that. Anyways, it's a Monday. I got here about 15 minutes early, nearly one o'clock. And uh, it's going to be a brilliant day, up to like 26 degrees. Getting on it, I'm getting warm, eh? Um, and so, I don't know what that is in that silly way to measure temperature, that F thing. Someone will probably get ticked off. Doesn't matter what you say, someone will get ticked off. And, uh, you know, but I urge them to go get on TikTok and have a rager. Ah, you can't say that about our temperature. Oh, God, you're always going to tick someone <laughs> Yeah, as you say, um, just the, oh, uh, before I forget, welcome to my, um, oh, I guess that's this person right here. Oh, this lassie, yeah, that's who it is. All right, she's early, I'm early. Right on, let's, let's get this sorted out, shall we? And, uh, we'll get back to doing what we're doing. Yeah, hello, she drives a, a Volvo. <laughs> cool. Ah, it's looking beautiful out there now. Look at that babe over there, just cruising along. Imagine if she was in some idiot people country. What would happen? <laughs> or the babe behind me, for instance. Right, let's go and sort this out. I think I'll go to that shrine a bit later on. Oh, beautiful out there, eh? The crows are doing their crow things. There's a crow right there doing their thing. I wonder if... That's probably crowies, mate. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah. Oh, that lady's happy. That lassie, she's got that running board and she said she's going to use it herself, so that's cool. Right, now that thing there, that super clean thing there, <laughs> um, that tall Uheita, which is leaking, is um, there to remind me to grab the, um, it's really groovy, there. Right, we're exchanging you. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. oh. What do you oh, I think? Yeah. Oh. Not my forte. Now, some like kerosene. Now, that there. Um, see how dangerous kerosene heaters can be? <laughs> That's why every year, winter time, you hear real, real. Uh, people bump them over. They can, uh, I've got this auto cutoff switch thing, all of them that would be spring operated, I reckon, for the safety, but still, see, only a slight amount of angle, and a fair amount of juice, you've got some other source, ignition source, and uh, a lot of these places are still made out of straw. Real. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding you. All right, mission for today, I've got a, a drum to pack. Uh, had to go to the the uh, ward office to sort out some bull dust you can't you're not allowed to have um two pensions let me try to clarify my thoughts here we're working on this this beast of an awesomeness here el cheaper i got it for like 10 bucks a couple of blokes wanted to buy it off me at this mark i'm like no nah, no nah, i'm gonna use that and so i believe yep there it is or is it that one is it that one I think it's that one, yeah. There's another one here. Um, does that go with it? Something like that. Um, yeah, that goes with it. Um, anyways, uh, got some paperwork and it looked all official and also, as per usual, like I always do, it's all, it's all in cards and scrunch it all up and <laughs> toss that. And, and uh, then I figured, hang on, it might be one of those... Um, important notices where they give you some uh some dough to try to recover from the nonsense when the world went to shit help you with your bills and stuff uh, yeah I, I received that a couple of times because my life really did go to shit you know believe me check my bank account anyways um so i like had another look at it and it's like uh you owe us 1500 bucks for the last Three years for uh, oh that's it 
that one's that one there, right. Um, because uh, you haven't been paying into the Japanese pension scheme. I've got a book, Exy gave it to me years ago. So I kept it. I've, I've never paid into it ever. We broke up like 20 years ago, but uh, right. Um, uh, anyways, uh, so from what I heard. It's illegal to have two pension schemes. Now, back in the day, like American blokes who could get their... Back in the day, they were doing it. they get their pension from the state. And then they get their pension in Japan. Right? After working many years as a, a teacher or whatever. And they were getting two pensions, which became illegal. But they were raking it in, you know? Uh, <laughs> they're doing nothing. Um, so, right, you go there. Um... That's a trooper too, that little unit got that for like 10 bucks too. That got me through winter. Yeah, dragging it into the toilet. No one wants to hear that story. The camping good. Um, and so I heard tell that you can't have two pensions. And the last, well, the last time, or the time before that, when I was in Australia, I actually went to the pensiony people uh, to clarify, all right, what's going on here? And, and then they said, oh, the rules have changed because I figure I've got to do, say, two more years. Like, I worked in slave houses and all that and hotch potch jobs and all that sort of shit. And there was a time where it said you had to work at least 10 years in Australia to get your pension. And uh, I guess all the mongrel jobs I did, it should be like, it should give me extra. Anyways, um, so I, I uh, had wrapped up like eight years. And so I had been going back and like staying in Australia before the world went to shit, before bad people, you know, did that. And, um, and I fucked up a lot of my life. Uh, anyway, uh, I never bought into it. Trust me on that one. Now, um, I uh, actually went to those dudes and they said, oh, the rules have changed. You don't have to, because I... I was figured I'll, all I'll do is just every year work three months and then at least, you know, on some mongrel jobs and um, and rack up my ten years and then I'll be fine. They said, no, no, you don't have to do that because you're an Australian. I'm like, oh, I mean, I don't have to do three months a year of mongrel jobs <laughs> to get my pension. Like, no, no, you're eligible. Uh, I don't know. At least you get like, I don't know, a grand a month. I, I'd get enough. Oh, they upped it to 67 over 65. Oh, there's a bloke out there that lives in what, Tokyo, is it? Um, another savage. Um, he was talking about the pen, mentioned the pension things. Oh, lo and behold, I'm for some reason able to reply to those that um, message me. <laughs> yeah, thanks, gods of internet. Now, um, uh, so anyways, I, uh, um, don't have to do that, but this reminds me of, um, I was having a look on this job board in Australia, and sometimes I look on it, at it, uh, from here, and, uh, because I don't like winter, okay, so, um, I figure, right, I win the weather, prior, previously to this, previous, on Survivor, um, I would go to Australia, you know, and just do some bullshit jobs or whatever, but there was a few there that I'd, I'm well keen to give it a go, or have a go, and, I can ride a horse, so um, there was in uh, mid New South Wales somewhere, I've been fairly close to that area, um, there was this work where they, uh, they're looking for people that were interested in uh, those who not specifically have experience riding horses, but you know, they'll teach you the ropes and um, how to ride and all that and to for like, I think it was like uh three months or something like that um being a cowboy and a cowgirl i want to be your cowboy and you can be my cowgirl um and uh there was work like that and i was thinking fuck if i was gonna stick around um i should go up there and do that you know there's a few other jobs here in fact there was one that, that, that a few of us signed up for and for the powers that be it fell through the big project it was like they was going to build these massive um uh, solar panel farms and uh it's like 12 hours a day seven days a week or something but you know like uh um but you work straight through so you're not on the piss every day you're just out there working and grab, grab your dough and i signed up for that 
and they contacted me a few years because the the whole the whole project fell through, and so that was off. But they contacted me a few years later. I said, oh, "Are you still looking for work?" I'm like, "What? Well, I'm in Japan now." And anyways, um, I would have been a shoe in for that type of work. Um, just out there in the fields. There you go. I'm gonna do a bit more of that. Keep forgetting how many sets I've done. So what I'm doing, I pulled out these old shogi pieces. And I'll take one out and put it there for each stun and set. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, there, there was that job would have been worth some really good dough. We've only have had to do like a couple of months a year on a position like that. You know, like this fly in, fly out type of stuff. Um, that was country Victoria, and uh, I would, wouldn't have had to work. A, a, a dime. I uh, wouldn't have had to work at all in Japan. Uh, just a couple of months in Australia on jobs like that. Um, just live in a bottle of vodka for 10 months a year or whatever and would have been okay because uh, for what I pay in rent and all I'd just probably have to find some way of paying for this and the other one but um, I'd be alright you know uh, this is a long winded story but anyways um, so being a, a cowboy out there you know pretty rough but what an experience you know I can ride uh, I had a couple of girlfriends that had horses and they taught me how to ride and all that sort of shit over the years and um i rode a bit in new zealand too didn't i um anyways that that would have been all right for me uh out there being a cowboy how's that eh? so yeah you know i those that know me and have known me for a long time they know that like, what's he doing now you know what what's he up to now <laughs> you know oh he's got a he's got a new back in the day when i was gorgeous you know Oh, he's, he's got another girlfriend, you know. <laughs> I had 13 girlfriends in my life. Look, you're fucking awesome. God, I'm a hunk. Anyways, the people say, obviously, I'm... I'm uh, what do they say again? I'm, I'm way too modest. Let's see if we can help that bug get out of there. Yeah, you go out. There you go. Oh, he's gone. Oh, good move. Now, um, anyways, so I had to go and... You know, administration stuff, not exactly the type of work I'd want to get. So if you want to stick me in a hell, the gods, how about this one? Turn me into an administration paperworky desk job person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck, I'd rather be in a prison in frickin' Middle Africa or something. Anyways, um, so... I um, dug that paperwork out and figured I'd go over it again. And there was some English on it. I said, oh, important notice. Uh, you haven't been paying in your pension. Now, it says that um, foreigners must, underlined, and in capitals and big, lettery bold, must pay into the Japan pension scheme. So there was that. And I read that and I'm like, oh, I screwed that up again through that in the fucking bin. Like, Fuck you. <laughs> you know, I'm like... You drag me to the depths of trepidation, fucking nightmare, poverty, hell, and on the borderline of either suicide or crime. And uh, honour and all that consciousness says, oh, you're probably best off going that way. Run out of dose, I couldn't even get out of here. Got scammed by those fuckfaces, um, kiwi.com. Stole my money that I, I, I bought plane ticket, and then I had to get another one and another one. Hey, eh? so I got stuck here. Shit was bad. Yeah, when you wake up in trepidation, feeling that uh, you you don't want to, but you have to destroy yourself. That's a pretty fucked feel, anyways. We don't have to go there. Um, but just the fuck, or the feeling of it. I would love to give that. Hey, come here. You feel that for a while. There you go. And then people can learn compassion. Some people in this world have never ever had to live in the, the nightmare. My life is a fucking nightmare. Anyways, or has been uh, many times. But anyways, so um, yeah, they're telling me I owe dough. And I'm thinking, well, as far as I understand it, you're not, you're, legally you're not allowed to have two fucking pensions anyways, which I am eligible for one from Australia. They upped it from 65 to 67. And so they're trying to push 70 and they'll try to push like forever and a day. And then they'll go all Canada and go, hey, how about 
Why don't euthanasia, mate? We've got some euthanasia products in here you can use. Look at that. <laughs> you know, you see dudes doing the euthanasia thing and they drink the cup in Sweden and stuff and they go, then they go, oh, and they shit themselves. Because then they actually realise that they've really done it. <laughs> and then they shit themselves. Good footage. Check it out if you feel down. If you do feel real down, Become a fan of motocross and supercross. It will change your fucking life. The excitement of it. The, the trials and tribulations of those blokes. It will just revive your... All your troubles would just be washed away and go, I'll just vicariously live through their troubles. <laughs> right then. Anyways, back to it. Deal with that at some stage. Um, so I... On another page, it says, Oh, you can... Um, File for, ah, uh, shit, not deferment, oh yeah, deferment or, um, some other bullshit, um, uh, exemption, um, so which it didn't have on that page, so that page, I actually told them I just sort of screwed up because I thought it was something I don't need and it was a gommy, just junk, but to be honest, I was just like, <laughs> into the bin <laughs> you know just through pissed offness and uh but the next page actually said oh look, we've got trees growing um or you can uh those that are not students can file for exemption and or deferment I'm like, oh there's that page i wish they had that notification in the stipulations on that fucking original page you know um so then i was like oh all right how about I just fill out this form and I'm thinking, shit, I've already screwed it up. So they'll, they'll unfold, they'll get the letter and unfold. It says I've got to send it by tomorrow. And uh, so I was like, ah, oh, shit. And it said something about, oh, I'll contact your local ward office or some bullshit. So I fired up the scoot, which didn't want to go. But sort of fired up a bit better than that one currently. And went down there and there was this really cool lady there and couldn't speak a lick of the master language, Zig English. Um, but she was really cool. And uh, she said, oh, do you want to do it now? And um, she pulled out three pieces of paper and she said, oh, you've got to fill them all out. And I go, huh? She goes, oh, for the last three years. San Nino. Uh, three years. <laughs> something like that. Well, oh, for the last, I can sign an exemption for the last three years. I know there's a bloke out there that's um, another savage, as I was saying, uh, that lives in the land of the rising sun too, up north of me. And uh, he commented on some of this sort of stuff too. So this is sort of a shout out to him too. Um, and so I'm like, right, oh, and I, uh, pulled up the word for exemption, um, on the computer -y thing and said, oh, I slipped that over to her and she said, oh, and she went off and got some, um, some paperwork in the master language, Zig English. And, um, I said, oh, Eagle, I'm like, yay. <laughs> you know, whenever I say, you know, I go, yay. <laughs> and, uh, quickly read through that and said, yeah, if you're not a student, you can file for, um, exemption, uh, and or deferment. I'm like, right, uh, exemption, yeah, yeah, I want to do that. And she said, yeah, okay, slid them across, just, just sign all that. She looked up on the computer -y thing uh, initially with my um, Gaijin card or my alien registration card. I said, she said, oh, do you have the, um, she was trying to think of the name of it. It's Mitten Zyru card. That's what they call it now because people got pissed off because it's called an alien registration. I fucking love that. I've still got my old one that's got punch marks through it because it's, you know, it's, um, cancelled and all now um when, when you know when you renew they cancel your old not cancel an old license or something and uh but i kept it because it says alien registration car i reckon that's freaking rad i used to sing i'm an alien i'm a legal alien <laughs> right anyways um i uh so um i said oh gaijin card because <laughs> gaijin is apparently in the formulations of formalities it's uh, Oh, this dearly wheelie uh, got up to its time limit. All right, and so it's a rude word of, um, they say, but Gai Kokujin means foreigner. And Gaijin sort of a, sort of like a slur or something, really. Oh, okay, I love it. Oh, there's a ton of people. And, um, and so I said, oh, Gaijin card, she goes, and you could see she's sort of nodding like, I understand what she's saying. I said, ah, oh, alien registration card. She said, ah, oh. <laughs> and there's a Zyru card there. And she said, ah, oh. so I pulled that out, handed it to her. I said, oh, I've got the tax card thing too. And she said, oh, yeah. And um, she went, doo -doo 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 on the computer -y thing and figured out and called someone and 
so someone must have said, oh, he, he hasn't paid anything for the last three years, and he, <laughs> he hasn't, they must have said, but he hasn't paid anything for the last over 20, 20 odd, 24 years, and she asked me, uh, is your wife living at that address? Oh, I said, I'm Akashi Oksana, oh, divorce, yeah, and, um, previous, uh, wife, uh, divorce, I said, oh, no, I'm living alone, and, uh, she said, oh, right, oh, and, um, yeah, and there you go, and, um, and, uh, yeah, so, something like that, you know, the, uh, that in whom is the, 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 the landlord, <laughs> you know, me, the householder, and so, um, signed out some bullshit, had to write it out in, my name write out in the way they, in the, the format they want me to write it out in, the sequence, anyways, uh, write out that bulldust and, and uh, because I said to her, oh, you know, I saw this, I thought it was just a gommy, so I screwed up and went, <laughs> and just and she laughed, and, uh, you know, that's how I feel about officialdom anyway. Uh, who are these creatures that tell me that I've got to give them? See, time, strangely, time and money solves problems. <laughs> you know? Oh, here's a problem, but I don't want a problem. No, no, we've got one for you. No, but I don't want one. Oh, no, 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 we've got plenty of them for you. Oh, but will that cost me time and money? Yes. Hey, these creatures must think that they're like above me <laughs> more deservant of this existence hmm. anyways so um we zipped through that and i was in and out and just you know just a few minutes and had a bit of a laugh with her and they're cool they're fun people you know you just sort of don't go in all pissed off you just just sort of here's a problem i've gone through so much shit right and especially in this place uh, it's so much shit that i've gone through you throw some shit at me now it's just like oh, fuck, man, more shit okay i know that time money you're just going to get through it doesn't matter they'll just try to make it all fucking oh, all this fucking stress rah 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 you know me it's problem solution here it's problem go through all the pain and fucking trepidation and the nervous worry and get you all fucking shit fucking nervous and on the point of fucking you know um, um stressed out and fucking shaking it just fucking stress and then solution and then it's all quiet until da -da -da -da, you fall in love go all bjork and all right so i say problem solution no fucking in between i didn't say that today but that's well, i've had to say that a bunch of times that's how we do it in australia problem solution we don't go through all the fucking time wasting shit so that's what officialdom does to you. They want you in the point of stress. And once you get through all that shit, they lump more shit on you. That's why you got people working so many fucking hours a day. That's why they need people saying, oh, I don't want to have any more children. Some bloke mentioned, oh, they want to have more kids. Yeah. If you're smart enough, you're like, fuck that. I don't want to have kids that just end up being slaved. So they must be listening to me because they've changed the laws. And some say, oh, change laws and make it so that people work eight hours a day now, not 16 hours a day. So they must be listening to me. Someone's listening to me. Oi! How's it going? Ja, sono um, shemisen mitai. Futatsu? Ja, a furui, ne? And the hako furui. Ja, alright. Okay, uh, stay tuned. Let's see. Futatsu? So, ne, sono star mi mashita. Um. So, ne, demo hako international oku nai deki nai. So, ne, udosu. Jimoti dasoka ne. Nelkari dasoka. Demo ippai aru ne. So, tabun nihon ni deki nai. Demo gaijin ski. Demo moshi patsu ne. Kai kakuno oku ivory, ah dame deki no, ima deki no ivory. Moshi bachi ivory. Nihongo ivory. What's that? Ivory or no? Um, shit. Ah, fuck you say ivory again. Ah, zoge. Zoge. Boom. That's it. Zoge. Um, I showed horns. Yeah, zoge. Moshi zoge is deki no oku no ima. A beko mo. Ah, just a Monday. The moment I key the key, I'll cure the issue. Ne. So, moment I enter the house, I meet the ah, Jimmy, ah, Mary Kelly, Sue. Moment I dekinai, ah, boko ah, check check. 
Okay. So, uh, skin dah jauh ke? Neko, inu, shit, shit tu ke? Dah jauh dah jauh ke? Dah jauh ke? Oh, dah Haven't even checked it out yet. Ja, cuto mimas. Yeah, shimmy stands were quite nice. I said, oh, what the cost you? And he goes, oh, three hours. <laughs> he got them for free, but he went and picked them up on the other side of, other side of the city. Um, yeah, this trooper, I'm going to fire this up. Clean this up. You just fill that thing there with water. It runs on the sniff of an old rag. And, uh, and uh, it's starting to get to that point where it's getting a little bit on the warm side back at the ranch. So if I can run this unit... Be all right. D in the life of I. <clears throat> all right, now I need to get fired up and get some stuff done. What I want to do is present at least today present a bunch of these units, tools and gear. If uh, I'm motivated enough, I'll um, go to that shrine and. Uh, yeah, do that. Um, do, do those. Uh, right, let's clean this. Life Tips by Barry Bugil. Now, uh, in the case of this sort of thing, um, if you put on gloves, all right, it's like an extra 10% toughness you get. Yeah, you get 10% like, extra power. Um, it's like... Um, taking a shot in the ass of um, some HGH or steroids or something. Personally, I don't believe in HGH or steroids or that sort of thing. It's not exactly the most natural thing. It's a contentious subject, so I don't believe in it. If you want to, go ahead. But it doesn't matter what you say, on whatever subject, you're bound to piss someone off. And if someone's out there going, yeah, I can't say that. And I say, get on TikTok, have a rage. Or, ah, get on TikTok. Ah. See? Anyways, now... So you put on a set of gloves, right? You not only get that 10% toughness, but if they're motocross gloves, right? You get 10% toughness plus the cool factor. Yeah, and yeah, then you can, it's, it's just easy. So like when you take a shot of HGH, they say you, you get like a, an extra, some dudes can lift like an extra 30% or something like that, you know? Um, I don't know, I see some of those chaps and they're breaking out in all kinds of ooh in their skin and they put tattoos all over them to cover up all the ooh. No, I would not suggest that the young people were coming up um, to just go into the world of the fakery, or the, the fuckery, <laughs> the fakery. You know, if you're going to do it, do it for a reason. Uh, you know, instead of just lumbering around, go. <laughs> I do it for a reason, like for the, for the, the speed, power, and accuracy, and um, for the, the, you know, to, to just be able to do shit with it. You know, or else it's a waste of time, isn't it? You know, some dudes are out there going, "Oh, Mr. Olympia, oh, hey, they're into that. You know, they want to do that, fine." But you see them, you know, they don't live very long, do they? No, uh, but uh, don't worry. If you talk like that, you're bound to piss someone off and you'll piss off some real big, strong dudes and they'll go, Rah! my intersectionality, you know, on freaking TikTok or whatever and have a rager. Yep, anyways, I'm, I'm going to push this up a few more times. Cut. Contemplation by Barry Bugiel. Yeah, as I was saying um, a bit earlier, I'm going to get to that these, these repair dealies. That one there, got a nick and that one there, got a nick there too. I reckon you could probably sharp them into a point and that'd be fine. That one there. Be okay, they're okay, but I reckon that's its weakest point. Clean all that up. Run a weld. I could do it. I could do it, man, shit. With that Tetsudenki. Tetsudenki means welder. Tetsu means metal. Uh, Denki means electric thing like a, like a, yeah, electrical, that's what it means. <laughs> that's a Denki no mono, Denki, Denki mono, Denki mono, Denki, eh? electric thingy in the jiggies. There's a Denki mono, Denki mono, Denki mono, battery Denki, DC Denki, anyways. Um, 
I was mumbling something earlier about these uh, to generally when they could um, enough people must have started complaining finally uh, they're generally like in Japanese companies and stuff like that they'd make you work 25 hours a day yeah you know 25 hours a day shut up I'm speaking now uh, there's been some laws changed because sometimes um, you'd have the slaves working for 16 hours a day running around everywhere hi, 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 and make them run fucking everywhere yeah I'm serious inside the factory make them fucking run everywhere and uh but for a standard salary and make them work you know 16 hours a day but they're getting in actual fact they're getting paid like eight hours a day and so apparently the the laws have been changed and so they do there's crowy he was waiting there all this time um yeah uh, well, that might have been crowy's mate yeah, crowy's mate um and so what they've done is they changed the law and so people are working their eight hour standard like that but um now they have to pay like overtime time and a half to double time whatever it might be i don't know so a lot of companies have cut back on on paying uh, uh, they don't want to pay overtime so they'll love the, for the workers to work for free <laughs> but legally they can't do that anymore right fucking hell it's uh, subjugated servitude and all yes okay i'll do that <laughs> um anyways so, so that's a good thing to hear but a lot of people like they're not uh some people want to work more hours to get extra salary or something or or maybe some were getting more money due to their hours but legally they can't now but they were i don't know all i know is some of the laws have changed so it's probably really good for some people and and for others trying to save and get all those things they want in life uh you know that carrot that's just in front of you all the time you just keep getting older and older you never fucking get there <laughs> um butterflies uh so yeah apparently some of those laws have changed and sort of made it a whole lot better for some people so they've actually got a life and i think they must have figured out you know these people realize that they're never going to be able to afford just to sustain themselves <laughs> and now we're trying to push them to have you know into a breeding program so we can create more slaves so the way i see it you know if you're working your guts out in some mongrel job you're still going to have some life if there is no life so i worked shit in like the mongrel jobs in australia and there was no life you might get a bit of dough but there's no life so why fucking bother you know and so it's good to see that some things have changed in that regard am i bitter with all the fucking shit jobs i've done no i don't give a fuck because i've outlived so many people you can't believe it. i've known a lot of people i'm 54 i've outlived people a lot of people yeah i'm still around <laughs> i must be doing something right all right let's get back in there okay let's have a look at these dealies here uh, i've got some other dealies over there too i'm going to put these together and sea freight them sea freight takes a long time but don't worry eventually gets to you just have faith look at my feedback just have faith all right now um i reckon yeah i'm going to put yeah put them together uh so these are, i'm putting them up as repair jobs um I think there's a bit loose there, but looks like someone must have drilled a few holes in there and knocked a couple of nails in it, and so it's going to stay there. But uh, this unit here, the blade's okay. Um, I reckon I've seen this before. This will be its weakest point where it's starting to sort of crack there. Oh, I've got some kanji there. I reckon with use it'll just clean up real nice if I do. But I reckon this is staggered tooth arrangement. Wouldn't be surprised if all of them have a staggered tooth arrangement. That's a, it's an awesome big saw. And so I reckon I would clean that up and get a get the MIG out. I could do it now, but you probably want to do that. Clean up, let's get to see the kanji here, clean this up. And um I reckon weld that crack in the area and you'll be fine. What you got there, Tanifa? Got a uh, scroll. Kakijiku? Mm. Mm, Kakijiku is a scroll, no. 
Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll weld that up and be real nice. This one here also a staggered tooth arrangement. It's quite pronounced actually. And uh, there's a that one there, this and that one there also. There's two teeth that are damaged. I reckon just grind there, and sharpen it. Grind there and sharpen it, be fine. There's a bloke online that shows stuff. Hang on, I'll just get this sorted out. What you got there? You've got a brought over a nice kaki jiku uh, hanging scroll. Oh, buki on the mono ne. Hey, kono mono ne. Koko ni aru. Kono sta mono. Koko ni. Ne, look at. Mai ni ne. Taksan Midori no mono na sono jet wash up power wash mo sta. Ni ne. No. Dosu. America? Oh, uh, Ipai Aru. Ipai Aru? Ipai Ipai Aru. But mm. the mm. mm. auction house is the one for Tatsu Hitto, the Taksan Kakejiku Motoku, and um, Tokidoki uh, Yonsen, Gosen, Roksen, Tokidoki Niman, Tokidoki Yasu no Mo Nisen. But the one for Tatsu Hitto, Tabon is the one they don't like each other. And so, Mono has me the Yasui Stato, it's like a it's like Yon Senengu Stato, and they went back, back, back and forth. Uh, like Ichima, Nima, Sama, Yoma, and I was like, Rokuman San Senengu. So, Tabo Nisho ni Kida, back, up, up, up. So, no, he told us, uh, Okanemochi, some rich guys went at each other. Yeah, he taught to Dake no Mono. So, Ippai Kata. So, yeah, Toki Doki, Okane Mochi Hito is Kimas. So, no auction house, no. Bokua, the Ichiban Bimbo. I'm the poorest one there. Yeah, Kira, yeah. Bimbo. Not the no. Yeah, Zutumai, Ippai, Kakejiko, Kakejiku Aru, Tushi no Soko, Sere no Kini, the more Muskashi Kokoni no Aru, no. Yeah, Koi mo Nakani. The more. もし自分でセットアップをしていなくにできるでも僕はいない難しいよそうね All right back to back to that でもいいもの欲しいでもこれどうする Mesti kau dah tahu presento lagi. So kau ni ipai presento nama nuar. Mesti ya room aru, space aru. Presento seru. That's what I do. Oh, I'm gonna get back to to this. Well, so there's a bloke online that shows what he does. He bolts these up to. The, uh, his bench uh, gets the box him up. It gets the uh, gets some clamps or whatever he does, and uh, clamps him up to his bench. And he gets a diamond file. I've got a diamond file around here somewhere. And uh, see, these things have particular angles on them. See so, yeah, that way and that way. See on this one, on this particular one. And um, you follow the angles. Online, there's a bloke that shows you on on uh, YouTube there. And uh, he sharpens up the uh, the teeth. Atsui means hot. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I call it Senpuki Aru. Um, denki, Denki, that's the word for electrical. And we got this here. Uh, clean that one. Shit! Put that there. Cool. There you go. In there. Ah, remote Aru demo the Denki Denshi Yoai. Kotini. Yeah, call it, eh? Denshi Aru. The battery's weak on that. Yeah, I've got a. You know, I've got a diamond file. Yeah, but gave me a diamond file the other day, I think. How many videos taking so long? 
He's all just stuff around. <laughs> That's why. This is. Diamond. Yeah, it's a round file. This one. That says. Diamond. Chan. That's what that says. Anyways. So you can. Uh, some chaps like to sharpen them up. And. Uh, and hook in. Alright, so I'm going to put these together. Put something between them and all that, so the because of the staggered arrangements. And uh, in order to protect those, and send them via sea freight. And some bloke out there would like to have a go at, at uh, doing something with these. Yeah, I would clean all that surface up and then and weld that section. Yes, that's what I would do. In fact, I had a stick. I've got a, a MIG welder over there. I had a. Um, the ass pulling it out to be honest <laughs> oh i had a stick welder it's sort of not with me anymore still, the tunny fella gave me a pack of sticks too so eventually i'll get it in fact I, there's a couple of stick welders that they're just missing leads and things I, so i could have probably put one together not so long ago an old dunger but it was good um i'm just dawdling under me <laughs> right that's it, go over there and push that bloody thing up some more, that, that bench press. Right, that's all I'm going to do. Let's cut. I was about to say, what we have here is failure to handle. <laughs> and then I went like that, I'm thinking, oh, I just might just turf this anyway, because it's, you know, it's pretty much <laughs> that. Yeah, that's had the gong. <laughs> Daryl Summers, gong, hit the gong. Red Simon. Okay, now, um, well, what I discovered was awesomeness is of awesome i might take a few shots again that, that one seems to be hanging on sort of by the skin of its teeth kind of thing um with that wiring there but uh yeah i'll get another couple of shots of that because we've come up with that piece of awesome right there so let me just do that okay so i've got a couple of extra shots of that one. Well, these ones here um it's pretty sort of pretty sort of um old school the uh teeth are all there on that one and that one just a bit of, a bit of marking or something a bit of rust out there that's all right uh yeah the teeth are teeth are there too could use a sharpen i reckon this would be really red but i can't but, really red to repair i can't see any sort of maybe it's got some script in there somewhere but once you start with it it's a bit rough there see so you can either like weld there or maybe chop out here that section there or maybe even chop out that entire section right there you know you, you blokes know what you're doing um yeah, so the handle's all rough over, but uh, yeah, good rigs. I better get my gloves on with this one. Um, so yeah, this one I didn't realise it had such really red card. You know, and right here. So uh, this one here, maybe they are sitting together for a long time like that. But this one seems to be more solid than that one, but still with a. Uh, Bit of nice cleaning up, a yeah, bit of cleaning up, I reckon that will come up real, really cool. So again, I'm going to put these together. I'm going to get my, um, you know what, they go together a whole lot easier if I just cut that off, wouldn't they? Because that's pretty much, that's had its day anyways. Yeah, they'll just go to eat together easier, put something between them to say, protect the staggered section. Or just leave it like that. Leave it like that. Right, let's get that. Let's get that scale sorted out, and we'll see what we, we'll figure upon this. How will they go together? Put some thingy between them later. Like that. Yeah, 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 um, 
this sting. So put this sting. <laughs> thinking of five things at once. Right, let's get back to this. Now, um, this unit here, I'm calling this uh, four hodgepodge dealies. <laughs> Note for me, four hodgepodge dealies. Let's see now. But this piece of iron here has come away. It's really well, but still very solid. This thing, yeah, the hand is really solid. And this thing is just savage. Yeah, I reckon. You can, and if that doesn't sell in a hurry, I'll whack that over there with Captain Savage, that one. Hey, that'd be a nice unit to sharpen up. It'll come up, you could use it as it is and just sort of come up real real nice this is this is rad um this unit here i reckon that'll come up real nice too after work um that's been someone's put some copper on there copper windings feel solid i've got one over there uh, there, there the, the savage and that one there i left it somewhere else Oh, it's in the other warehouse, and I put some paper in there and wedged it in. And what they've done here is done that because you've got to be careful, you can slip right out. So you make them real tight there, golden. So pull saws, yeah. So, um, as opposed to our silly push saws, and pull saws are better, they just are. Now, I know everything because I'm better than you, obviously. And people keep telling me I'm just way too modest, that's true. So, uh, pull saws are better. That's just the way it is. Doesn't don't listen to my self reliance. <laughs> I think actually no. I think he said that for some applications, um, a push saw is better. So, all right, he's a bit more of a real man than I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a top bloke that one. That Canuck. Anyways, um, mate, he spent all that time building that cabin, and then um. He had some shitty neighbour, so he just decided to um, pull stakes and go and build another bloody cabin. Now that's tough. <laughs> yeah, uh, it reminds me of that bloke like in the 60s and he had some old rudimentary camera and he went out there into some like, Alaska or something and built his own cabin by this beautiful lake and there'd be bears out there and he'd have to go when he'd walking around, he'd take his rifle and he was out there on his own for years. Yeah, there's a documentary about it. Like he he did the documentary. Eventually, uh, he moved into town. God, that feels awesome. Man. This unit here, awesomeness is of awesome. I reckon. That, I mean, the handle's solid as you pick this up. You you become twenty percent more man. Yeah, like the testosterone that flows through you. It's just like oh, you, the testosterone is flowing through your body, and you, it's making you shake like poison. And now, uh, like. You know, like fear can do that too, oh, and then that shudder of fear, and it can actually shut you down and uh, weaken you to the point where you can't move, you know, and you got to push through it. So, um, and hold on, or else if you let go, you, you, you don't move. Anyways, um, but with sometimes with adrenaline, especially when you're in your early 20s and your adrenaline's flying through, and you see that hot babe over there in the bikini, you go, oh, God, and the adrenaline's just rushing through you so much, and then you can hardly stand. And if you've never felt that feeling, get off the soy now. <laughs> Back to it. Anyways, this thing here must have had, like that was sharp at some stage. There's a pivot point. So that, I initially, when I first saw this thing, I thought that there was like two of them and there was like a saw between and the two blokes. And <laughs> That's what I thought. But now when I have a closer inspection on it, like just then, um <laughs> when i was having when i picked it up from there that would have been on a pivot some at some stage and that there was utilized for cutting something and i would say that, that would have been utilized for am i starting to talk a bit faster um utilized for um like the uh when they harvest the rice straw that shit this is just a little guess but i know everything and i'm better than you obviously I mean, just look at me and look at you. It's like an unwritten law, isn't it? It's just, it doesn't even need to be said. <laughs> Some ape out there go, yeah, get on TikTok and have a freaking boohoo over it. Now, this, why not? Just having fun. Now, anyways, um, this unit, 
it's probably for like cutting those straw bale thingies, thingamajiggies from the rice. So I reckon that may be the case. Well, I reckon, like some some LARPing dude out there into like all that cosplay type of stuff and would like to modify this thing, you know, put some thing on there or whatever. That would that looks like some awesome freaking thing you could go to war with. Well, you could, couldn't you? But um, battle axe. I reckon that'd be rad as some kind of cosplay unit. You might need to grind that down a bit too sharp. And it's actually fairly sharp, so it's kind of dangerous if you're, you're a dickhead. But if you just, like, use it... Well, I don't know, I'm going to hurt myself now. <laughs> right then. Now, these are, that's, that's cool. I'm going to stick them all together and um, just call them hotchpotch dealies. <laughs> They're rad. But seriously, this is rad. I'll uh, probably just grab a zip tie and chuck that back together. Still pretty solid. Do that there. Yeah. Um, that's a cool unit right there. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put that in a little bit more expensive because it's selling crazy cheap. Um, because that's just. That thing's freaking rad. All right, that's that. Let's move on to those ones over there. Cut. All right, this listing here. Um, it's solid enough right there, that handle. Um, let's see, I didn't write down the measurements of this one. Talking roughly. This one, that's nigh on 80. 80. Seven, actually, no, 87. Uh, uh, longest. Hmm. So 87 centuries. That's what they call me, centuries. All right, and that's with a blade of. They tell me that uh, depending on the blade length and uh, number of teeth, it's 55, under 54, 52. Quite an anomalous uh, uh, blade of 55. Now, yeah, depending on the, the like number of teeth and d d design, and you know they can pinpoint the uh, ages and stuff. Anyways, um, that I know not of. Um, yeah, these have got, from what I can tell, all the all the teeth are right on them. Right, on the knock that out uh, so the this one here has got some quite a bit of script going on here it's all surface rust right they just like all of them so that'll clean up real nice through use or now you've got a staggered tooth arrangement so uh, some people might want to get the sand around right we're just gonna be real careful around the teeth section so you could probably sand all that and then just use it and then polish up the teeth through use Ah, uh, you know what you're doing. I think there might be some kanji going on with this one, but I can't quite confirm. Uh, I think after clean it up, be all right. Teeth are all there, uh, but they're pretty rough at the tips of them. So I'm watching my battery power. It's about to go bonk. So uh, I'll get a, I've got another battery. So I could use a sharpener. The only issue with this one, I would get out the old Tetsu Denki. I'd sand or clean all that up get the cut and get the grinder out and clean all that up and then weld this section here so i've got a real good deal on all this stuff so um that's why i'm selling them off that's why you're going to get an excellent deal so you can you blokes out there like doing that sort of stuff so um you clean all that up and weld all that up again and that'll be real nice and uh, yeah, you polish them all up like this one here that surface rust crazy old design this is uh it's got a lot of age in it i decided to shit can a few things here a handle and that thing and the cover there that's uh that's been mushyified and mushy's uh insects all right shit can those putting all those together another sea freight and all this too um yeah i reckon this will come up real real rad i mean clean up the edge there if you wanted to and uh see the teeth are all there uh, 
I can't confirm if there's any kanji or anything on this one. I'm, I'm doubtful with this one. But I have been proven wrong. Hey, I'm, I'm, what's that word for when you're flawlessly, you don't, you're never wrong? Don't even know that word. Um, Alright, so I have been proven wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, these three units here, um, put them all together and uh, send them off to you. It'll take a bloody long time to get to you, but that's the way it is. It's the cheapest method. So these are rad, yeah. I reckon you weld up this section here, and this will, this will be the best one. Um, a freaking unit. Okay. Yeah, put some work into these, and uh, you, you, you know, the investment. Some of you blokes out there know what I'm talking about. You clean them up real good, and uh, they're worth a whole lot more. All right. Uh, there you go, that's, that's that. Now let's get on to this stuff here. Change this battery. And uh, I think I'll wait a little while before I try and push that bloody thing up again. <laughs> oh, I might need some more, like, some kind of inspiration. Uh, by the power, uh, by the power of hungry fat chick. <laughs> yep, that will give me the, the, the extra oomph for those last couple of reps. Infallible. Yeah, maybe aside from that cracking in the in that unit there, it's uh, nice, still nice and solid. That handle right there. This thing's awesome. I'll oh, just be aware if you're in Australia. Um, this here, uh, I'll have to take that straw stuff off there because um, Australia don't do straw stuff. In fact, I. You know what? I just realized, look at that, there's some kanji under there. Alright, I'm going to take the straw stuff off now. Um, let's get back to it. Right on, I took that straw stuff off because Australian customs don't do straw, you see. Turns out, and I was just, under my suspicions when I saw a bit of this run here, looks like um, I figured, alright, someone's uh, decided it's got some surface rust so they just sprayed it with a bit of black spray paint <laughs> look at that you can see where they've uh, beaten it into submission um, in, its, in its creation this is like this is high level stuff this is wow um, the, all that paint will clear off um, through use you know uh, see that's all nice and solid see they they decided to just go ch -ch -ch -ch, instead of find the tree <laughs> and clearing it off because that's just look at that just light surface rust that would have been way better if it had been original like that but with a bit of work no worries uh, the teeth are all there very pronounced the uh staggered tooth arrangement i better change this battery before i forget hang on whoa oh, a bit of a yawn there all right now this thing here yeah this is going to pay my rent <laughs> Yeah, what a beauty. This is high level stuff right here. Yep. This is uh this is amazing quality. Check this out. Never seen one like this before. I've seen a few of these over the years. Check out my channel. I've seen a few of these. In fact, there's been a few that have passed by me at auction house. Oh, and I'm bidding on them like oh, <laughs> and the richy witches are going over me. I got lucky with this one. Bloody hell, what a unit. I still had to pay for it. Shit, look at this. 60 centimeter braid blade length. I have never seen that. Yeah, that's uh, Niju Shaku, you know, 20 Shakus with the length systems. You got metric and you got imperial and you got Shaku. Um, a lot of the things I have are under Shaku metrics, like a uh, like them, for instance. Um, what a unit wow this is good quality stuff this never gets this you're going to be pretty happy eh? um and that the bloke that runs the show here he's going to be happy because i get to pay the rent <laughs> yeah what a beast this has just got mad, mad stuff written all over it oh yeah it would be 10 percent tougher you wouldn't even have to wear gloves you'd just get 10 percent tougher just by holding this, whatever. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it like that. But can I go? Yes, he can. I bet the bloke that gets hold of this 
the first bloke that gets a hold of this is going to try and do that. <laughs> Hold it out like that and try and pick it up. Man stuff. And that's even after. I've got to go and do that some more. The goal is today to push that bastard up more times than I've ever done. Ever. <laughs> that's, that's the goal for today, right? Okay. Um... And then I'm going to pack that unit there. Uh, I've got an auction house to go to on the morrow, so I hope to get that out on, say, Wednesday morning. A few days late, but hey, I run on Japan time. I've got stuff, you know, I do things. Right. This is quality. Yeah, and never have I seen a blade length. I've seen many 54.5 mil. 545 mil. Uh, what's that? Uh, is that Shakuhachi? Yeah, I think that's right. Um, this thing is um, something like that. Uh, this is uh, this is just radalicious. So um, I'm gonna have to put put a steep thingy majiggy on it. Um, yeah, so you might want to um, pull out the checkbook on this one. It's the Ducks Guts Maxi. Yep, and, uh, yeah, just sort of use it and then you'll clean off uh, that bit of black spray paint there. I don't see flaws in it. That's where they do the heat welding when they uh, heat it all up and weld it all together, go all blacksmithing style. That's a real deal. Beautiful. I wonder when it was made due to its blade length being a niju shaku 20 shaku dunno uh my mate uh, i was pushing that thing up and my mate i could hear him driving by oh see you there and uh nothing there and uh so he's off to go and drink his shochus <laughs> four liters of shochu lasts him five days yep that's his that's what he he goes to the uh this mountain and gets mineral water i saw someone just just this very day i was looking at um the chemist there for uh to tape up my feet to for this jogging i've got these really groovy socks with some cushioning so for jogging and stuff and um and uh i saw in the, the front entrance way they had this uh jido humbiki meaning a vending machine selling mineral water you know and there's people in there selling it. he goes up to the mountains with his k truck and with a whole slew of these like 20 of these right and he drinks one a week so he's got loads of them and gets all this mineral water i wouldn't be surprised if he's selling this stuff <laughs> it just wouldn't surprise me see up in the mountains they've got these pipes running through all these places and you just rock up there and, and you know grab you and due to the percolation of all these mountains the 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 water itself is delish in here we've got some too um yeah it's fantastic stuff unfortunately the the sinkhole they dug for the new pump there was a pump out there and one over here that's too silty so they needed they actually needed to go deeper uh, i don't know pump plumbing i don't know but anyways um so he's going he's picking up a few of those and gives me one of those every now and again um so that's what he's off to do he's so he needs to empty 25 percent booze he needs to empty one of these in order to get <laughs> put in the work to empty one of those so he can get some mineral water <laughs> burn stuff yeah that's a beauty whoever out there gets this cool i remember um there's a bloke out there there's quite a number of chaps that have bought these off me over the years and and there's a bloke out there, he's got a hold of one of these and he's cleaning it all up or doing what he's doing with it. And I wrote in the message board these years ago, I wrote, real muscly dude, you know. And I, go, I wrote, American bloke, I think, was it Canadian? One of them. And, um, <laughs> and I wrote, oh, I wonder where you get one of those from. <laughs> he's like, lol. <laughs> yeah, another bloke up in the in the Yukon. He's uh, He's got one of a different sort but uh, one of the best i've ever had ever he's got one of those his youtube channel is i saw that i haven't seen him put up any uh 
any content in quite a while, quite a while, so, um, quite a while, huh? quite a while, but yeah, cool bloke that one, right, out there in the freaking Yukon, oh, that's man stuff out there, alright, uh, let's continue on, shall we? Cut. I'm starting to question, I was trying to think of a, a word for, some, I had some fancy pants word in my head that, um, wouldn't come to the fore. And I got on the, the thesaurus -y thing, but this is some word kept popping in my head saying veracity. I don't know what veracity means. Some bulldust about, I don't know, adhering to facts or some bloody thing. But, um, you know, the plausibility, uh, possibility, the, the likelihood. I actually looked up the thesaurus for likelihood um, of this actually happening. But yeah, can be done. Uh, weight wise coming close to the max weight. Sorry Aussies. Um, you you're out of the game We're out of the game <laughs> Mad Max. Um, Because uh, Australia has a max weight of 20 kilos. This is coming up near the max weight of, for most countries, which is 30 kilos so my plan is um, in general, I'd put a nice piece of wood on there and then you know, chop that up. And what I might do is just whack some. Yeah, I'll figure something out. I might get some sheeting or something like that. Some sheeting. I've got plenty of the stuff around. And then uh, we'll, we'll get in just under the weight and then we'll uh, reckon something similar to that. And then. T -t 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 whack that in and then I uh, might get some kind of um, it's a work in progress yeah oh my god what's wrong with the wrist now <laughs> nothing I'm so easy to some other bloke just go <laughs> so really cool I was watching these young guys uh, on the, the net there on the YouTube -y thing and they were offering a hundred bucks to anyone that can curl this bar. They're like, all right, you do the first bit. The first one will be real easy for 10 bucks. Second one for 50 bucks. And, and uh, the third one for a hundred bucks. And, uh, but if you if say, for instance, you go for the second one, you don't make it, you don't get your 10 bucks. <laughs> one bloke there, right at the end. What a, what a tough bloke. Um, there was one guy who was working out, once you worked out for a while and then go to do something pretty heavy, you know, you, you're pretty much taxed, so, but he was a tough bloke too. The last bloke, my, my. Anyways, um, so then after that, see I could do it one of a couple of ways, just using cardboardy things and then some of this roly-poly stuff, or I'll cut up some sheeting for it. And knock that in or screw it in or whatever we'll figure something out yeah i'll make it i reckon some sheeting will be right over that <laughs> yeah that's easy enough i've done that sort of thing uh prior with this sort of stuff okay so we're all right weight wise and we're all right size wise as i started to get them all in i'm thinking the the, the plausibility line started to come in my head and oh is this going to get under the actual size restrictions for and it does for uh for sea freight so we're we're good we're she's a go mate ah, here, here. why do i keep showing off my manliness ah! <laughs> right so um i'll pull them all out now and lay them all down we've got some awesomenesses of awesome in here by the way so i think i might give some heads up to some blokes out there that uh are into this sort of thing um worried what to do now should i put a reserve on the thing because if i don't even if i don't get my dough back and all the work you got to put into it well i'll have to cry myself to sleep <laughs> right um right let's lay it all out uh yeah that's uh, there's a lot of man stuff in here these are i've just chucked these in too because they were with them oh uh, these are really brass um, I've seen this sort of thing before. Nice little clamps there, so they can go with them. And I'm going to even include this. This is an old school. It's bamboo with um, what is that? Would that be copper? That's an old school pipe from uh, old school. Yeah. Um, I noticed one of these Kanda planes actually had a date on it. 
some of them are crazy old. Uh, that one wasn't crazy old, but I think it was um, that Showa Yonju something or other. It equates to like the 60s or the 70s, 1969, 70, something like that. But there's some other stuff that oh, there's some real like there's some there's a one awesome piece of awesome in here and some other awesomeness of awesome like that um, and that awesome piece. But there's there's one in there that's just freaking radalicious. So yeah, that's a bit of a heads up. Um, all right. Uh, okay, I'll lay it all out now. Let's come. Right, must be coming on five in the afternoon. Okay, only got to push that up ten more times, and it's the most I've ever done with that. <laughs> ten more. I've got it in me. You can do this. Okay, now. Awesomeness is of awesome. It's all going in that box. Um, yeah, so coming up real close to the max weight and getting close to max size. Ah, uh, points of interest. That's actually a cover for it. This piece of awesome, which I bought separately from the rest of it, still got some meat on it there. See, that's uh. Oh, what a beauty. Um, Alright, now most of the Kana planes um, are fine. Uh, this one here, a bit of roughshod there. And one of them's just a block, doesn't have anything in there, see? Um, but that blade is not thick enough or wide enough for that. So, But I'll, I'll manage to get that in there anyways. I reckon cleaning that up would be real nice anyways. This here has had a piece connected to it so they must have had a reason for see how they that be for the shojis or something that they want to just take a bit extra off and or something or to bring it to a line or a side position or something like that or, yeah that's probably what they've done they've put that there so they can seat that against something you'll figure it out uh but that's actually all right um these units here, back in the day, they were 2,800 yen, was that 2,800 yen, way back in the day. So back in the day, I mean, they would have been like, you know, a fair bit of dough right there. Um, I blew some wind through that wind. <laughs> Junkyard digs. Paul Barn Garage. Um, and all those other chaps. Yeah, Vice Grip Garage. He's, God, he's funny, that boy. Blew some wind through there and uh, get that bit more clean out, but that, that works nice. So you could probably put some wacky weed. <coughs> I mean, um, put some um, some wacky tobacco. Um, uh, put something through that. That's old school. It'll, it'll work. It works. So yeah, add that. Uh, some old boys probably got some uh, Port Royal tobacco or something. He's all right. Oh, I might just kick back now after all that work and. Smoke my pipe, mate. Yeah. Okay. So you got that. I've got a few rudimentaries that I'm sort of chucking in there. A few bits and pieces that are a bit rough like that. That's rough, but the metal itself is still awesome, right? Obviously, Japanese iron. That there I stole from the Tunny fella. So it is going to be included. I told him about it. Sometimes he finds this sort of thing and hands them over to me. He's like, yeah, yeah, no worries. He stole my trolley <laughs> the day before. There's a lot of blades in here. In fact, there's um some interesting blades. I better, I better put the cover on that right now. Eh? So protect that unit. Because that, I would say, is the piece de resistance. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. That's to tie around there. Um, right, uh, yeah, so most of the Kunna blades are alright and uh, they're, they're pretty radalicious and uh, they sort of look alright. Um, that one there, nice and long. There's, there's another beast right there. There's another Eli Tomac beast mode. Well, they were speaking of Eli Tomac. Uh, Recall seeing a. I don't think there's much in the way of meat left on that one. 
Oh, there's plenty on that one. Um, that bloke there had a chance to ride our Tommy's bike in the States because Tommy was injured, unfortunately, motocross. There's good days and there's there's really bad. <laughs> he had a bad day on the rig and banged it up. <laughs> I doubt old Tommy there would be too pleased to hear that, but um, what an opportunity to get a chance to ride that bloke's bike. Wow, wow. Now, he's in Japan now, again. Great to see. All right, so we've got some... Um, uh, vying for the his second 450 championship Aussie mate not that I'm biased or anything Aussie 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 I I I but um yeah I was watching the uh the um the the series and uh, the, the round Colorado round that just went on if you don't haven't seen it yet I watched it on offroadvideos.com oh, org offroadvideos.org got to see the races and uh, in fact, they ran the 250s, they ran the 450s first prior to the, and then the 250 race. So I was uh, listening to the 250 race, and I'm like, oh, I hope you don't give any spoilers in the uh, in the commentary in the, of the race. And I'm like, well, for some reason, due to the watering of the track. Or Anyways, it was some of the best freaking racing I've ever seen. I was on, on the edge of my seat, mate. If you're, if you're a bit down in life, and you're not into motocross and supercross, Get into motocross and supercross. Become a fan. And just the trials and tribulations of these chaps and everything they got to go through and just just getting under knowing the stories of all the riders and all the battles that go on throughout the day in the positionings. You know, you got the top blokes up there doing their thing. You got other blokes and doing their the battles. It's just freaking they're battling the... the, the, the elements, their, their bikes set up and... Um, it's just freaking awesome yeah it just and it's there's it just it's history mate history in the making so yeah if you're a bit down in life and you're not uh, in the you're not a fan of motocross and supercross become a fan it will just change your life it'll just make you feel inspired Rawr! yeah i'm serious now uh Actually, some of the top guys are injured, off injured right now. The injuries, the the just there's so much involved. These new manufacturers coming into the game, and just there's so much to talk about. And say you're sitting in a bar and you listen to some dude talking. I'm like, listen, mate, you are just so freaking boring. But if they start talking motocross and supercross, whoa, bloke! <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> Right, let's get back to it. It's just in a the platonic way. Anyways, man stuff. <laughs> I love you, man. Check this out. Beautiful. Look at this old unit. Nice. Hey, look at that. So there's a lot of piece de resistance that's going on here. Some oddball fandangle kind of stuff. Yeah, there's a uh, there's actually a cutthroat razor in here. Be real careful when you you're looking at this unit that's, that's a real deal cutthroat razor right there never go that way looking through the camera well that's bright um go that way if you ever want to do that be careful when you're using this would you please uh what's it got there let's see if we can read whatever it says there uh, Baseman, 1050. Base. That says Baseman. So, yeah, that's a. Could be an American thing. It came. There was a pair of scissors which I decided to keep right there. Real nice scissors. And I was thinking I actually give them my hair. Oh, I'm not trying. I'm give them my hair a bit of a trimmy trim trim. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh giving himself a bit of a trimmy trim trim I need to shut up and get back on this right <laughs> I'm tired it's like five o'clock and I'm still banging away at all of this all right so yeah just take a lot of care when you're messing with some of this stuff um, yeah this is for real moon uh, this is for competent 
blokes that know what they're doing because there's a lot of there's a lot of blades in here a lot of sharp stuff okay and I, i'm not messing about when i'm saying that there's a lot of stuff here you gotta gotta know what you're doing and I'm like look at that for instance Oh, that's bright, just do it one-handed, huh? You gotta know what you're doing here, yeah, blow your thumb off. <laughs> that bloke when he was on, on the Doomsday Preppers. Oh, I'm just showing my son how to do a bit of shooting. He blew his thumb off. <laughs> yeah. Another bloke I was seeing the other day, um, he had a, uh, a couple of misfire rounds. And he shot him and he decided to look down the barrel and... Uh, <laughs> I won't tell you what that website is. Anyways, um, we have some beautiful stuff here. Yeah, I won't tell you about the aftermath of that. Um, don't look down the barrel, all right? The eye inspection, whatever you do. And don't bang your rifle down on the ground. Whatever you do, you might have a hair trigger. Or you might... Let's get back to this. So what I'm trying to say is, this is for, for blokes that know what they're doing, all right? Love the wood textury stuff with this old banger here that's a what a beauty right there all right so yeah i know you're supposed to sit in like that i know that one's that one's uh sit it like that <laughs> expose just ever so slightly that uh that blade yeah good stuff right here and real bad stuff raw <laughs> What, I'm getting a bunch of raw. I've been, been watching some of the Mr. Olympia. <laughs> hey? Seeing some of those blokes out there go, rah, 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 doing their thing. It's kind of like, it's amazing to see, like, uh, and know the knowledge of knowing that when they're on stage, that's actually when they're at their most weakest because we're doing the cuts and all that and the drainage are dehydrating enough to show all the cuts and all that. That's actually when they're at their very weakest. Yes, move that. Anyways, um, all right. Amazo stuff. Ah, uh, so yeah, I really like this stuff. So I better, I better get, um, I better get some good dough for this because uh, when that day when I, I bought all this stuff, I really forked out because uh, I even talked about it and those PayPal dudes relinquished that dough that was sitting there for years and uh, I've traded that dough for this instead of a plane ticket and safety <laughs> yeah back to my country um, but we'll see uh, if all goes well I'll um, I'll get back to uh, what I was doing years ago go to Australia and when the weather's shit here you know that's what I want that's where I want to get back to that yeah to be able to go back to Australia three months a year there uh, shit I've still been sober I'm still sober it's the 10th of June and I started this sobriety binge um, well, I think it was the 3rd of April which was a bit late in the New Year's resolutions <laughs> anyways soldier on um, some bloke out there yeah, he's going to have a blast and uh, probably blast his brains out with something. <laughs> uh, I'm not against it, but I do believe that it's um, a bit of a gateway drug, to be honest. Uh, I reckon the, the Reagans were correct. Anyways, look at, if you don't believe me, look at the, the state of the Western world. I've got to go push that thing up ten more times, and that would wash up, get those other gloves on, just push it up 10 more times and she's, um, I'm at my record. Cut. I was driving up the road up the other way and then the, my conscience hit me. I was like, oh, you could go to the rice field of contemplation. It's Farmer Joe over there. And, um, and give us 50. I'm like, oh, come on, Jules, Sergeant. I'm bloody tired and, and there is no tired. Go, get it done now. Oh, God, that Jules Sergeant's a freaking asshole. All right, um, right, this, this, this will do right here. <laughs> nice place to do that. Okay, all right, give me 50 and then, um, give me, <laughs> me, give me 50. Right, oh, fuck, oh, there we go. Oh. You got a bit gravelly. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. Oh, the six o'clock song. That's the time for farmers to go home. Still going. All right. That's the six o'clock me go home time. <laughs> home. Yeah, that one then. Uh, all right. Okay. We belong to the night and there's something around. We belong. Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible. 